Hey guys, today I wanted to do a little quick video on wiring a pressure switch. There are two common methods for wiring a pressure switch on a submersible water well pump, and it's really based on the type of control box you have. So if you look at the control box inside, there will be a terminal strip where all your wires are connected. If you see a terminal um, that's labeled SW, that means you have what's called a deluxe control box and it has a switch relay in it. If it has a switch relay in it, this is how you'll wire your pressure switch. You will bring a wire from your L2 terminal, you'll add a wire and wire it from L2 to one side of this pressure switch. And it doesn't matter which side we use, I'm just gonna use the left side. So this would be our power from the control box to the, the pressure switch. Then on the adjacent terminal, we're going to have another wire that we're going to connect to the pressure switch. And this is going to be our return back to your control box. And this will terminate, this wire will terminate on the SW terminal. And then we'll also have a ground, which I'm not showing here, but you'll have a ground that runs from your control box um, to this ground terminal here at the, in the bottom of the of this switch. So again, this is how you'll wire it if you have a switch terminal in your control box. A wire from L2 to one side of the switch and a wire from the adjacent terminal back to the SW terminal in your control box. So in this configuration, you gotta make sure you're using two adjacent. You can see there's a divider here in the middle, this larger one that separates the two sides of the contacts. You can use these two um, or these two, it doesn't matter. Now, if you have a control box that does not have the SW terminal, then the switch will function as a way to break the incoming power from your breaker. So in that situation, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have four sets of wires in total. And so one set of wires is gonna be the incoming from your breaker into the switch. In this situation, I'm gonna have a hot from my, my breaker, and again, speaking of 240 volt. So I have a hot coming on one side, and then I have another hot coming in on the opposite side. And then the adjacent one to each will be what goes to your control box. So we'll have power coming in from a breaker, power going out to the control box. Power coming in from the breaker, power going out to the control box. So that way we have two incoming, two outgoing. These outgoing are gonna land on the L1 and L2 terminals in your control box. When the switch opens, it, this kills all power to the control box. When the switch closes, because your pressure's dropped, it sends power to the box starting the pump. So with this configuration, you'll be able to start and stop your pump based on your line pressure. So really, like I said, to start, it all depends on what kind of control box you have. Um, and if you have a deluxe that has the switch terminal or you have a standard box that does not. Typically we see the oh, horse and a half and larger control boxes have the option to be deluxe. Um, it's really common in the three and five horsepower control boxes. Um, your smaller control boxes, your half horsepower, three quarter horsepower, one horsepower, um, are pretty much usually standard to be uh, standard boxes and don't have the option. Um, your kind of the middle ones, your horse and a half um, and two horsepower boxes um, can be either or. But it's pretty simple to check. You can just take the cover off your box um, and you should have uh, an SW terminal um, on that main strip if yours is a deluxe box. Um, and if it is, you'll use the two wire configuration I pointed out. If it's not, you'll use this four wire configuration. So, hope this has been informative. And if it has, please uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for more information and updates when we post new videos. And then also check out our website at waterwellfaq.com. Um, please go and check out our blog and um, our videos that we have posted there. Um, if you see something you like, or if you see um, a topic you'd like us to cover more detailed, uh, don't hesitate to email us and contact us through our website. Thank you.